During the Second World War, Sweden had remained a neutral state to avoid greater conflict in their regions from conventional war. However, despite Sweden's neutral status continuing even after the war, Sweden had a secret that had been kept from the world. From 1950 onward, Sweden stockpiled military ordnance and equipment in great quantities, including a stockpile of nuclear arms. In 1952 to 1957, the Swedish aeronautical development firm Saab AB was put up to the task of developing an aircraft capable of delivering an 800 kg free-falling nuclear warhead to a long-distance target. This objective was deemed necessary in the event of a possible Soviet invasion of the Scandinavian regions, something Sweden had to prepare for. The development of this aircraft would be dubbed Project 1300, and was later known as the Saab A-36. The project would call for a single-seated nuclear delivery aircraft. In earlier tests and developments of the A-36, the design would be wind-tested with a fixed wing, a swept wing, and a twin-engine version, and eventually the twin-engine would be chosen. The Saab A-36 would be fitted with a delta wing profile and equipped with two early British Bristol BE-10 turbojet aircraft engines, a chin air intake, and an afterburner. Designed similarly to the Saab 35 Draken, the delta wing aircraft Saab A-36 would be capable of reaching Mach 2 speeds as well as being capable of drastic maneuvers such as the Cobra maneuver performed by the 35 Draken. With the promising speeds in design, concerns began to pop up with the development team. The speed reached by the aircraft would cause significant heating due to the nature of high speeds in aerodynamic heating from air friction, which would cause great concerns with the initial model, as the armament was held onto the exterior of the aircraft, and the potential for premature detonation of the warhead had caused the design team to redevelop the payload system to contain the ordnance within the frame of the aircraft. This led to less space for fuel and electronic equipment, leading to a shorter operation time, but would present itself with a more aerodynamic profile, increasing speed furthermore. Soon after the plane seemed to be an ideal candidate for nuclear payload, the Swedish government had officially closed its nuclear development and would see the close of the program in 1957, and the entire nuclear weapons program being cancelled in 1960. No functional prototypes were ever built.